uh, are American women oppressed? Women from around the world weigh in. I'm sure we all know the answer to that question, but we're interested in hearing more in-depth insight. Hi, good evening. Thank you for coming tonight. Um, a lot of people tell me that uh, when I speak about uh, the status of American women, that, oh, because you came from such an oppressive society, then you really can't see the oppression of American women. Uh, you know, so regardless of my background, I do believe that American women today are enjoying freedoms and equality never achieved at any time in history or by any other nation today. I believe there are many advantages to being a woman, especially in America, that men don't even have. I just came back from a conference in Canada where they were discussing the decline of the male. <laughs> and uh, all in all, what makes a culture civilized are the laws that protect its women and minorities and that give equal rights to all equally under the law. That's what a country can do. That's what the government can do. Government cannot uh, control what happens in a house or this is, this is something that's learned. But America has achieved that. It has achieved the fact that everybody is protected equally under the law. Years ago when I was a new immigrant here in America, I visited a liberal church in Berkeley, California. The topic uh, in the church was how little girls should be taught about glass ceilings and how they can be anything they wanted, even doctors. Young girls were sitting uh, on the floor, actually, around the speaker who talked about how she wanted so much to be a doctor when she was a young woman. She was my age and, uh, and didn't have the opportunity in America. I couldn't believe what I was hearing as a new immigrant. Are there any laws in America against educating women? Is there a cultural taboo against women being doctors? Are women being singled out for being prevented from having financial aid? Are American parents forcing their daughters to an early marriage? Of course not. And then I asked myself, how could that be in America? Women complaining and educating those poor young girls in America who are learning to be, to have this vict ugly victim status that is going to be detrimental in how they view themselves. How could that be that some women in America feel that way? Especially when I have a sister in Egypt and two female cousins in Egypt who are physicians. One is an economist and a PhD in physics. All females. I really never heard Egyptian women complain they can't get an education even though the poorer classes uh, are culturally against really educating women. Actually, they send their boys, the poor classes, uh, to school, and uh, very often they don't send the girls in the villages. So, uh, we all had college degrees, and uh, there was no law in Egypt that prevented us from doing that. Um, it, um, I, so it's, it's not easy. It's not easy in the Middle East. But it is, uh, this poverty-stricken culture that I come from, the only way to have food on the table and get a little respect in society as a woman is to get a degree. And that's why women in my culture of origin Study because there is it's segregated society. There is no uh, in my society because it's segregated. So women don't have any. They're not allowed to date. They are they are not allowed to, to party or go out. So what do they do? 
Most of them sit and study. <laughs> Many of them are so brilliant with such degrees, it's unbelievable. But it's all because of the segregation. There is no temptation. There is no alcohol. There is no boys. There is no dating. You can go out and you sit home and get your degrees. Uh, they, and, and they do that because the alternative in poor countries is horrific. You don't know what poverty is until you, you visit some poor nations, including like, people, like Egypt. The alternative without a degree, you're going to belong to a class, uh, an uneducated, desperate, poor, and discriminated against class, terribly be abused, totally abused, men and women. So women, because of their insecurity, they strive very hard. The first thing that came to my mind after I left the church was I wonder why this Berkeley woman was blaming America. What really stopped her? What's the real thing that really stopped her? Was she totally honest with herself? Or was she enjoying the victim home status? and blaming others. I am so sorry, that is mine. It's just ignore it. <laughs> <sighs> Could it be that women in wealthy societies like the United States were not in a desperate circumstance driving them to become doctors? Yeah. You see, when you are living in a wealthy society, where you really don't have to be a doctor to be respected. You don't have to strive so hard to have food on the table. Then your urge, uh, your urge to become a doctor and engineer is reduced. You're respected anyway. You can have the food on the table anyway. Could it be that they, in America, those feminists are already respected in society, can make a decent living without having to go to study an extra seven years after college to become doctors? 